Hi everyone, in this tutorial we're gonna learn to add a dynamic filtering for our posts using filter component of Superfills plugin. We can easily toggle filtering future posts on and off. Also, uh, we can filter our categories with these buttons for a powered up CMS page. You can find the starter file in the description along with a 10% discount code for Superfills. So uh, let's get started. You can see I've added a sample block content by clicking the CMS button at top and clicking add block button. Since I will share the starter file, you don't need to do that as I've also customized the style and CMS fields a little. I can't share the finished file since this plugin and the component that I will use are not free and I cannot distribute them, but you can watch the tutorial to check and decide and I highly recommend it. As I said you can use a 10% discount code in the description. Let's click the CMS button. As you see by default Framer adds two CMS collections, articles and categories. To demonstrate filtering better I've added a featured field. The rest was added by default. I will start by opening Superfields plugin. I can see it since I've recently used it, but if you can't, as you know, you can just type Superfills in the search box to find it and you will need to create an account if you don't have one. I will click filtering since it is the power up that I want to use. Then I will click add to canvas and now we can see Superfills components on the canvas. I will carry it to the page container. You can see the plugin also gives you step-by-step -step instructions to make things easier. As you see the instructions, the component also says the CMS collection list needs to be outside of the page where we already placed our blog posts. So all we need to do is connect in the Superfields component to the blog posts by dragging a connection from its right side to the right side of the blog post as suggested in the component. Then from the drop down I will select collection list. Now we can see the collection on our page and we can also see the settings of Superfields on the right panel which we're going to use to filter our posts. By default its mode is set to basic and of course collection list is articles, the one we've connected. Empty state uh, as it's explained here lets us show a frame when no items exist and it also needs to be placed outside of the page. Let's click advanced and we can see next to styling we can add a layout. Let's leave it as a stack and we can see the stack settings that we use in Framer. We can change distribute, alignment, wrap, gap etc settings. Let's make the gap 40 for a nice spacious look. Let's check settings. I'm not getting into the details but since they are explained very well with short texts as you see. To give you an idea we can give an ID to our CMS collection to specify it. We can also randomize the item order, show only favorites if we're using that feature, we can add search etc. We also need to add the filter component from the assets panel uh, under the Superfields folder. After dragging it to our page you can see it also has some settings similar but specific to the filter function. Before doing any filtering we need to connect it to our collection by either dragging a connection from it as we did for Superfields component or just by selecting from the drop down next to collection list on the settings. We also need to set the CMS field that we're going to use. We can do that with setup settings. Filter by needs to have CMS field selected since as I said we're going to filter based on a CMS field and as it's explained here we need to enter the exact name of the CMS field next to field name. Let's say first we're going to place a toggle button that lets us view 
only the featured posts. Let's check our CMS collection and we can see the featured is the exact name of the field in the table. Of course, we can see also on the single item added screen, CMS fields name is featured and it's a toggle here. So uh, I will go back to our page and under setup setting of filter component, I will type featured for the field name and select toggle for field type since it's also a toggle in CMS fields and we can see type setting is changed to toggle switch also. Let's preview. Now we can click the switch button to with only the featured posts. Of course, in a real world design, we'd need to add a featured posts only, etc. text to be more descriptive. We can do that by going to layers panel, adding the text and selecting both text and the toggle button, adding them to a stack, naming it toggle wrapper, making it horizontal and making its gap 24 or something. We can also customize the on and off texts if we want in the component settings. As you see here, let's make its color lightest from our color styles, or we can even remove the texts from both states or delete the text future posts only here and edit both states here. However, we want, as you see, the component is very flexible. We can also set the default value and off and on states under options. Let's also add a filter for the categories. I will duplicate the existing filter component, take it outside of the stack toggle wrapper, and select advanced next to mode under component settings. Click in the setup, I will enter categories for the field name, but we need to keep in mind for a flexible CMS structure, our categories are coming from another CMS collection named categories. Let's check the CMS screen again. We can click and see each category name is placed in the field named title under categories collection. You can see here and here. Let's go back to home page so for our category filter we entered categories for the field name under setup and this is the tricky part as we saw in the cms screen our categories are stored in another cms collection we need to select multi-reference for field type to grab all the category names from another collection and since the category names were in the cms field title in the categories collection the reference field title should be title and the reference field type should be text since it's a text field let's preview we can see with a drop down we can easily select a category to filter the posts we can also select buttons for type to use buttons instead of a drop down for our filter we can see Actually, this one looks better for these posts, since there are a few categories, it looks easier to use. As you see, filters component of Superfills is a great CMS power-up for dynamic filtering and a more user-friendly CMS-based layout. As I said in the beginning, if you want to get it, don't forget to use 10% discount code in the description. And that's a wrap. I hope you liked the tutorial. If you want to see more, be sure to subscribe, turn the notifications on, check my other tutorials and see you in the next one.